I am a woman, not here to please you. It's time to move on, cause my time is now. I am a woman, play by my own rules. I got my doofy on solid ground. And then I take the first step, a million more. And I make mistakes I never made before. But either way, I know I made up my mind. I'm through feelings gay, I'm leaving all that behind. So I'm gonna let it shine on you. Make room for everything that's true. Do whatever I want to do. And then I let it shine on you. you. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Bethany or Budget Bethany and welcome to my weekly grocery haul. I like to share these grocery hauls with y'all every single week in hopes to give y'all some meal ideas with my meal plan and some inspiration to stick to a budget as well. My budget is always $135 or less for me and my family of five. It is me, my husband, and our three kids. And this week I went to Walmart and Piggly Wiggly. And I cannot wait to share all the great Piggly Wiggly coupons this week that Piggly Wiggly had to offer. I used all mine up so I don't have anything left. And normally I have some things left that I just don't want. I don't feel like I need to buy. But this week I bought everything that they had on the coupon app. It's just Piggly Wiggly Country Fresh app if you have a Piggly Wiggly near you. Um, also, I found some great clearance items at Walmart that I can't wait to share also. But let's get on into the meal plan and then we'll get into the grocery haul, y'all. All right, y'all. So I'm fixing to share my menu with y'all. If, ignore if y'all hear the TV in the background. The kids have it wide open. But anyway... It's going to be a crock pot lots running this week, and I'm going to have four crock pot dinners in that video. So, I'll have Hawaiian meatballs over rice, I'll have apple barbecue pork loin, and I'll have cheesy potatoes and sausage, and bacon cheeseburger tater tot casserole, which is something I'm really excited to try. I've never tried tater tot casserole in the crock pot, so I hope it turns out good. But here is our menu for this week, or the menu that I'm going to be sharing with y'all. Of course, there's more than four days in the week, so the rest of the days would just probably be like easy dinners that I probably won't be sharing in the lots for dinner because it's a crock pot thing. And by the way, I've got ink on my hand, so ignore that. But there's the menu for this week. Now let's get on into the grocery All room. right, y'all. So we're going to start right over here with the Piggly Wiggly stuff, and I got my receipt right here. I think I'm just going to call the prices out this time. Sometimes I put them on the screen. I may do both. I don't know, but right now I got my receipt, so I'm just going to tell y'all what I paid for each item. And as always you have to spend ten dollars to be able to get these coupon items for the price that, that i've got them and right here i got this bag of cinnamon toaster cereal and i didn't pay but a dollar 78 for it i've got this sugar dill applewood smoked fully cooked bacon i've never had fully cooked bacon but it's bacon that i don't have to cook so why not and i didn't pay but 217 for it and i saved three dollars and 31 cent the ballpark hot dogs, let me turn it around because I kind of got it upside down, were only 98 cent. So, I always grab hot dogs because my kids always like to snack on hot dogs or have those for lunch over the weekend. The tea was only 58 cent, y'all. I cannot believe that. And it says I saved $1.10 on that box of tea. Now, I didn't really need these dessert cups, but I was thinking I could get some like strawberry um pie filling or something and put on there with some cool whip but i forgot to get that so i'm gonna have to go back and get that but these were only a dollar these were only a dollar fifty so i just grabbed them anyway because they were part of the coupon thing and then and then the garcia smoked sausage i'm going to use these actually for dinner this week um coming up as y'all know i'm doing all crock pot meals because i know y'all have already seen the meal plan by now but for the Garcia smoked sausages, I only paid $1.48 and it says I saved $4.31. So that was a really good buy. And then for the barbecue sauce, it says that it was free. So I saved $1.25. The chocolate milks were on um, quick sale, quick reduced sale. And I didn't pay but a dollar a gallon for those. So I grabbed two of them and then this one right here was part of the coupon and it was and it was $2.99 with the coupon so I saved a dollar now I didn't think about it while I was back there but I could have looked to see if they had one of these for quick reduce sale and I feel like I probably maybe could have got it cheaper I don't know I don't really know their rules and guidelines for their coupons because I was already getting it for $2.99 I don't know if I would have just still got it for $2.99 or if I would have got it cheaper I'm pretty sure they would have gave it to me cheaper, but I didn't do it. So if you do it, 
you go and they got reduced milk try it and see see what happens and then right back here i've got a pack of um chicken legs and that's not part of the coupon items i just got those because i like to have chicken legs on hand and they were only three dollars and 98 cent and as always you have to have the ten dollar um total before coupons so that's why i just usually buy meats because i can always have meats or always use meats and then right there i just got some ground beef and it was 478 but that's everything wait nope that's not everything also got this strawberry drink from piggly wiggly i'm sorry if y'all hear the receipt crackling i'm trying not to crackle it too much but i also got this strawberry drink for free and it says i saved a dollar so goodbye kids will drink it up no problem <laughs> so now we're going to move into the walmart stuff right here i just got some blueberry waff not waffles right here i got some blueberry bagels I like to have these for breakfast me and the kiddos and y'all i was walking by the little like bakery section and i saw these lemon cream cheese cake bites and i grabbed them they look delicious and i love anything lemon flavored got some caramel coconut and fudge cookies and some twists and shouts these are just i kind of have a sweet tooth this week i don't know i just got those because i wanted to got some hash browns this is for a recipe that i've got this week got some shredded cheddar cheese always need to keep um cheese in the refrigerator <laughs> and this was on markdown so i only saved 74 cents but it's ground beef and i can always use ground beef and i didn't pay but 3.90 for it got some mixed berry cream cheese spread this is what we use to go on our bagels and that's what we eat for breakfast a lot of the times and then i seen this while i was at the bakery section and i didn't eat it but gonna give it a try it went with 34 cents so why not <laughs> And I got some cheddar tots. That's also for a recipe this week. As well as all of this stuff right here. I just got some crushed pineapple. Some cheddar cheese like Campbell's cream of soup thing. Some evaporated milk. And some apple pie filling. And I actually had like one that's not on clearance. But when I walked by the clearance aisle when I seen this. I put it back and got the one on clearance. I don't know. Didn't really matter. I didn't save but 72 cents. But it was 72 cents. So why not? And then I got me some more cold brew coffee. And one of these peach waters. The peach flavor is my absolute favorite, clear American flavored water, but my Walmart never has those in the cans or I would buy the 12 pack. So I'd usually just buy me one of those and it'll be, I'll be happy with just the one. Then I got some bacon. That's also for a recipe in the what's for dinner coming up. And these, we love these y'all. If you've never tried the Coles mozzarella cheese filled breadsticks, you gotta go to Walmart and try them. And I think they're like $3 a box, but I don't even care because they're that good and we're going to have these with our lasagna and i don't know if the lasagna will make it to the what's for dinner because like i said it's going to be a crock pot theme but one night we are having lasagna i just won't be filming that night and then y'all i didn't pay but 380 or 380 i didn't pay but 308 for these dr thunder so i had to grab them it was the only pack that was up there and i said why not because i know they'll get drunk and i needed some sodas anyway so i just grabbed those and then back here for non-food items, which is a lot. I think that's where most of my budget went this week, but we had to get some toilet paper. And I really wanted the kind that's like $5. I think it's like Angel Soft, but this is all my Walmart had. And then I had to get some paper towels. I always get these kind. I like these kind. They're really good. They're like $2, I think. And then I got some foam cups just to go with the foam plate so I don't have to wash dishes that much. Got some more of the Dome Power Wash and the Apple Scent. I used up the last bottle I had, so I bought more. Y'all don't say anything. Y'all know if you watched my cleaning channel that I was not a huge fan of to begin with, but now I am, and I'm on my second bottle. I got this to put my dish detergent in because this is a big mamma jamma one and i didn't really want that big mamma jamma one on my counter so i just got this i'm gonna squirt that in there and put that on the counter i was at a trash bag so i got some more trash bags and this caught my eye it's the black elderberry smell and it smells really good so i can't wait to take a bath with that i love taking a bath and that stuff y'all just helps me get my mama relax home got some more disinfectant wipes just because i like to have disinfectant wipes Got some more of these napkins. I like to have these to keep on the table right over, let's see, right there to have easy access when we need a napkin while we're eating. And then I got some more makeup removal wipes. But that is everything for this week, y'all. All right, y'all, that's it for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave me a big old thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already because I would really love for you to join my YouTube family. Thank you all so very much for watching today and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye, y'all.